Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Curling Gaming Mario Kart 8 Roulette Challenge where Ben and I are trying to three star every cup with randomly chosen cards and characters. That is by far my favorite intro voice. That's the best one. That's, that's the best the one. Joy. It's very, very, yeah, it reminds me of just NPR all the way. <laughs> a fault for your faults. <laughs> Parks and Rec Larry Marbles. <laughs> All right. Well, so we can get some 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 digits here. <clears throat> yeah, let's do some. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Bo so seven. Fourteen. Twenty. Oh no. I'm Shower Cat Man. Oh no. Oh, that's terrible. Roy. Roy is. I think everyone's least favorite character. Everyone's least favorite. Everyone's by far. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. All right. So let's see here. So seven. Fourteen. Twenty-one. This would be 28, 27. Dry Bowser! Oh boy, Ooh. man, you know, He's I don't want to, I don't want to discount our odds at all, but, uh, we might not win. I don't think we're going to have a great run, but you know, you gotta be, you gotta stay positive. We How have... do we both end up with the button wheels? Yeah, that's a problem. Anyway. Nine. The Duke! Thirteen. The Triforce. Seventeen. All right. Well, it's not as it's not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, your handling's not great. Handling's though. not great. Acceleration is still pretty high though. That's good. That's what that's what you need. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-six. Woo! Ooh. The Mercedes, the Silver Arrow. Ooh. Twenty-three. Ooh! <laughs> La Sponge. La Sponge. Eleven. Okay, not so bad. There you go. Not so bad. Yours is, uh, I'd say, a little better than mine, my setup. A little, be, little, little, pretty much like across the board. I'm actually pretty the, similar, though. The weight's not higher. You know, it's so funny. Whenever we're counting those off, it always reminds me. There's a there's a chapter in uh, the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell that sure. talks about why, um, oftentimes, people I think in like China and Japan are generally better at math. Partly because the syllables required for the numbers. I've heard this before. Right. Yeah, is so much less than like saying twenty one. You know, right. it can be like a like a short burst. I don't know what they are, and, and maybe I'm I'm just plain ignorant to the thing. But um, whenever we're counting these, I'm always like, I am so much faster at obviously moving the arrow than the count number. I'm always whenever we get to the part where it's like there's like a question mark at some point, and I always like feel like that throws me off on my counting. Like. Just got it wrong. Right? Did I mess did up? I hit one? Did, two I, did I hit skip one? Did, yeah, yeah. did that like it threw me off my rhythm. It no. threw off my groove. Completely, completely. Well, that's prob that's absolutely probably the only reason that other countries are better at math than us. Definitely. It's just number syllables. It has nothing to do nothing with Nothing to do with school school anything system. else. All right, today we're doing the Frogger Cup. Here we go. We got Baby Park, Cheese Land. Ah, oh, Cheese Land. That's, cheese that Land. Is, I, it's so, I can, so bad at Cheese I can Land. I already feel my sponge tires gripping Cheese Land. <laughs> <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing like the feeling of cheese on sponge. <laughs> can that be a t shirt? <laughs> <laughs> nothing like the feel. Oh, man. Now here, Baby Park. This is this is a good Ben this Carlin is just, this is just track. A, yeah. It's like anything, anything where you just go straight and slight straight turn. This is just a big turn yes. for seven laps. Here we go. Ba boom! Oh man, look at you! You're off to a, a very good start. Yeah! Woo okay, first question of the day. Let's hear it. All right, let's hear it. How do you make mornings more enjoyable if you're not a morning person? Oh, coffee. Coffee is a great answer to that. Um, my yeah, goodness. Coffee is the funny thing for me because I I like coffee because of the ritual of coffee more than anything else. So it's like, I can probably even wake up and drink decaf every morning and be delighted by it because I just like you know kind of having this moment where I'm not having to do anything else I can just sort of sit there and just sort of sit there in peace and drink my hot beverage yeah maybe like give yourself something to do like if like if you're not a morning person this might sound counterintuitive make yourself get up even earlier so there's like it's like free time free time you know I it's like I think I've had this exact thought on this on this channel before where it's like if I'm gonna wake up early I want to wake up at like you know like 5:30. Right. Like I don't. I don't want to just wake up at 7:30 like like a normal jabloni. You know. Yeah, I wanna, right. I want to be up at the at the crack of ben, dawn ben or Carlin at is no nine. man's jabloni. No man. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I was doing great in this race until I got hit by like 17 shells. Oh, that's then, the name of the game. Yeah. You know. I don't know how. I, don't, I probably should have dragged more. <laughs> 
That's always such a fast race. This is a just, it's just, it's just you can't over. tell where you are because the I mean you start lapping people and right, right. getting lapped and I spent some time in first though. I didn't some, feel, yeah, at I the didn't, beginning. Yeah. yeah, you were off to a solid start. Right. No oh, well. No oh, well. You got to you got to make those turns a little, little bit tighter. Callie, you were just telling us that because we were talking about working out. You wouldn't mind working out. You don't like waking up to work out. Correct. Mm. So what what do you do and what is, what is your morning routine like? Well, I am not a morning person because I don't like actually getting up, but once I'm up, like you guys were talking about, it's fine. Okay. Like okay. I like having the whole day to do stuff. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. Actually, getting out of bed sucks. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I think I have that that relationship with sleeping in, where like on the weekends when I don't have like a workout in the morning, I I like to look forward to being able to sleep in. Sure. But if I sleep in and like past ten, then I am so disappointed with myself because I'm like. It's already, you know, like now my day off is already chunked like over. already half, yeah, half over. Although in fairness, we are working right now and that means playing Mario Kart. So really our, <laughs> our day job is not so bad. So I'm not complaining. Oh, I thought that was going to be more of a ramp shortcut. Gosh, my, not, I thought my sponges were going to do not. better on this, on this cheese, cheese than they are. this cheese terrain. Yeah. Um, so what, what, do we have another question, cheese. Callie? Or do we do we adequately answer that question? Do you have any advice on how to reset like a bad sleeping schedule? Oh, I mean these are all sleep questions. Interesting. Um, interesting. I mean, or how to get your brain to relax when you're like trying. I know you oh my gosh, this <laughs> is yeah. Yeah. how to get your brain to relax while you, before you go to bed. Okay, the, actually, I do have a, an answer for that. Is uh, one you want to be, you need to exhaust yourself past the point of being uh, like able to let your mind run. Yeah. So like literally like there was a time when I was like particularly stressed at like um, work all the time and I was like and it would like keep me up at night and I would just I just hated it. And so like my solution was literally like I took all the steps I could possibly take to make it so that when I got to bed I was as tired as I could be. So I would like I would wake up earlier than usual and I would wake up and what I would do was go for a like a long walk which was like good because it got me awake in the morning. Um, but then also, like, it was something that it wasn't hard to do. It wasn't like, oh, I gotta wake up and, like, go for a run. You know, but it, like, it was exercise that was, like, physically wearing me out. And then I would, uh, I mean, just regular day of exhaustion and whatnot. But Re regular day of regular exhaustion. Regular day of exhaustion. See, but that's, that's an underestimated thought. See, like, I think, I think one of the things, uh, that, like, I noticed, and this is, like, coming from having dogs, uh, but there's a big difference between... No! How was a second? Oh, no! no! Oh! Nards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's anyway. a big difference between mentally wearing out a dog and physically wearing out a dog. Mm. So like a, a lot of times I think people think, well, I just need to go on like really long walks with my dog so that they're not like driving me crazy and like begging at the door and stuff like that. But a lot of times if you spend 10 minutes training your dog, then they, it, it's wearing, it's exhausting, it's exhausting them. to them like mentally. Right, 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 right. Mm, so mm -hmm. that's something where I think if you can get to the end of every day and have physically worn yourself out and mentally worn yourself out, mm -hmm. it's like you need to go and seek out challenges on your own other right. than like the things that are assigned to you to do. Sure. This is why like, this is why it's great to do like, like a hobby in the evening because chances are you're really going to be like mentally applying yourself to that. Likely it's going to take your mind off of whatever is stressing you out in the first place, which is, might make you feel better, but it, I, I would imagine it also makes you sleep better. Right, right, right. Well, and I also think there's something <clears throat> to the idea of, like, you, everybody enjoys, like, power watching a television show, you know? Like, it's, it's like, it's not a hard activity to, to um, almost even passively enjoy. Yeah. Um, but I feel like a lot of times what I find is that sometimes I am particularly into a show and I'm, like, rather engaged with it, but a lot of times <coughs> I think... Or for a while after college, I was usually so wiped from work that all I wanted to do was just, you know, turn it on and basically check out. Right. And um, th that was the period of time in my life <coughs> when I was having way more trouble sleeping. Mm. And I think it's because, um, you know, just, just watching a show, even though I enjoyed the activity itself, it wasn't really like something I wanted to be doing. I, there was never a sense of accomplishment associated with it. Right. So it, it just sort of like is, is background noise. Right, it's just sort of, in a weird way that, like, I think, um, sometimes I think, I've noticed over, like, I would have, I'll, I've had a lot of days where, like, I'll have woken up at, like, three in the morning or something and been like, oh, let me just, like, watch something mindless on my iPad real quick so I can fall back to sleep if I, like, didn't immediately fall back to sleep. Sure. And, I'll, and, you know, sometimes, on rare occasions, I just won't fall asleep at all. Um, and I'll just be up from, like, 
3 in the morning that day. But I'll still find that I'm like, n I am uh, not horribly exhausted. Because I think I'm just, the act of, you know, laying down and not doing anything is still somewhat restful. Um, sure. So, sure. if you're just sitting there doing, like, um, just, like, watching TV, that's probably counting for at least a, a minimal amount of rest. Which might make it harder to actually rest later. Oh, that's that's a, I, I, that was not the direction I thought you were taking that <coughs> advice in, but that completely makes sense. Where right. you're you're almost saying that like you're you're recovering more than you think you are when you're doing nothing. Right. Exactly. Oh, exactly. I like it. I like it. That's yeah. good advice, Jay. That's, 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 that's my working theory on the matter. I can't believe I came in second in the stupid cheese land race. I thought it was so great. Now we're not gonna three star. We got one. We has another race, but we'll see. It does, it's, it's all. <laughs> It's all, it's all over now. It's at this all point, over. At this point, we may as well just give good advice, because we're not going to have a good finish. Wow, there's that, you know? And I'm Roy and everything. Oh, is, oh, man. We've been huge. I feel like we've gotten some of our, our three stars with, like, very unsuspecting characters. Indeed. Indeed. You can come at the craziest of times. All right, Callie, what else? Do we, are we talking about more sleep? Um, I mean, you can. Is there anything else to add? I don't know. You're the one with the questions. Oh. That's true. That's true. Well, um, I'm trying I... to think if I have any other. Oh, actually, I do have an anecdote about uh, about sleeping. So Share recently, it. I'm sure that if you are on social media, you have seen advertisements for something called a gravity blanket. Um, it is like a very heavy blanket. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is. It has got gravity enhanced blanket. Right. So this is like one of these like Kickstarter campaigns. Um, weighted blankets have actually been a thing. This is not like somebody just. So it wasn't like somebody came to the conclusion, hey, people like heavy blankets. I should make like an like an on purpose heavy blanket. And I'm not. Ju it's not just like a dense. It's 25 pounds. It's it's heavy heavy. Um, so I bought one, and it took like three months to get it. I think actually, like whenever I saw the ad pop up, I always just got a kick out of reading all the comments with people who were like infuriated that they had <laughs> the, the, the shipping is a problem. I, I was very hard to ship 25 pound things, man. You know. Oh yeah, totally. I was one of those people it's that was also... a gravity-enhanced truck. Rather, rather frustrated, but I, I took solace in the fact that I, I had lots of people um, frustrated with me. Um, so it finally comes, and I was kind of like... I think I thought of it more as, a, as like a couch blanket, because it's not especially big. Ah. Um, and so I was trying to use it on the couch, and I was like, man, this is, like, this is not working at all. So here recently, I started sleeping underneath it, and holy cow... Have I been sleeping well? There you go. It so maybe been... people are just missing gravity in their sleep. Missing gravity, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. I know that some people really, 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 I think actually your wife included, Jay, yeah. do not like uh, dense blankets on yeah. top of yeah, them. That's like, ridiculous. Some people like to sleep under like a sheet, which I, I find crazy. People in this room, what do you guys like to sleep under? I, my wife is the kind of person who can benefit from a fleece blanket, like a fleece throw. And to me, like when I get the, like, you know, if she's one of these people, like if I get one of those at like a, like a trade booth or something like at an event as like a free item i'm yes. like this is just worthless it's not going to keep me warm it's going to take up place in my closet but she will like get under it and be actively warmer and i'm like that it's it's just it may as well be like floating like an inch above me and touching me at random spots when i have a fleece blanket i can see that i can yeah, see that it's awful i don't i don't like them not a fan of the fleece not a fan of the fleece well maybe you should maybe you should exchange it for 25 pounds of sheer glory maybe i should <laughs> but that's the thing beth doesn't like that she'd probably like die it would right. just i just wake up to like a pancake wife <laughs> a, pan, a pancake yeah pancake wife. um <laughs> no yeah for for what it's worth, I think one of the I feel like one of the misconceptions with it. So it's like it's weighted, which is what you know makes it such a heavy blanket, obviously. Um, but it's not like the it's not insanely warm. It's uh. it's, it's just weight. Mm. I think you would associate like a very heavy blanket with being like I, I might I might yeah. with warmth. Yeah. Um. So not not necessarily. Do you guys sleep with a lot of a lot of covers? A lot of yeah, blankets. but I need to have one leg out. Yes. yes. Yeah, the temperature control like, lag. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's me in winter. I'm like, you know, it's 20 degrees outside. I've got the heat on in the house, but a fan blowing on me. <laughs> you know, like 28 blankets, but like my leg, my leg's still, like still hanging so, out. About balance, yeah. It is. You just gotta regulate. <laughs> All right. Well, we got the single star here on the Frogger Cup, so we will have to revisit it yet again. Cheese Land. <sighs> I almost dread the day that we actually finish this project because it's just so much fun. I mean, we'll find we'll find another way to answer people's questions. You think so? Okay. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. There's no doubt. Speaking of which, if you have questions for us or need advice in any aspect of your life, let us know in the towel section down below and maybe we can gravity weigh in on it. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Good way to close out there. All right. Well, so I think that's all for today. Yeah. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.